Hi, everybody. It's Elaine here, the Animal Reiki Lady. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be in the world. I hope you're having a beautiful day. We are starting today off with a beautiful reading for Harley and Nova, two beautiful dogs uh, whose mama has requested a reading. And I just can't wait to share some of the things that are already coming through. Um, I will do my little quiet uh connection my meditation my little mantra to help connect even further uh, and we'll see what comes through from harley and nova um, but first for those of you catching me for the first time my name is elaine i'm an animal reiki master and i help people make deep spiritual healing connections with their animal companions the animals that are here on this side of life and the animals who are on the other side of life okay so <clears throat> a couple things i first wanted to say i was i was remembering when i was a young girl uh, when I was a young person, I wanted to be a veterinarian. I really wanted to be a veterinarian. And I'm so glad now that I have found a, taken a different path and found a different way. Uh, and I love being able to share these healing messages with you guys. Uh, and I've received so many beautiful messages in return. And I just want to say thank you for that. It, it makes my day when you guys send me your beautiful messages um, and allow me to connect with you, with your animal companions. It just makes me feel so good. Um, I feel so blessed by the animals um, that they have asked me to help when it comes to the healing process after they have crossed to the Rainbow Bridge. Okay, um, so let's talk about Harley and Nova. I already have notes. Um, many of you know that I do automatic writing. That seems to be the easiest way for me to make these connections. Um, I go into my own private little meditation and I ask to connect with the animal. I love to get a picture. So if you guys uh, want one of these readings, um, just send that picture to with a, just a little description, nothing too much. Uh, read for my pet, R-E-A-D number four, my pet at gmail.com. Um, and I'll be happy to do one for you too. So, all right. I do automatic writing because that is the way that the information comes through easiest for me. I just start to get this sense of knowing. I begin to write things down and, uh, and I just trust that it's going to make sense. So for Harley and Nova, Harley and Nova um, started to come through mama, 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 right away. The word mama is coming through mama, mama, mama. I happen to know Harley and Nova's mama. So there are some things here that I know personally uh, questions that I know she has that I really, and Harley and Nova so want you to know this stuff too, um, that you have the gift. Now I'm going to say this for everybody. You all have the gift. This is something that I have cultivated and I spend every single day of my life making sure to keep my connection with animals open. Uh, and that's where Reiki comes in for me really strongly because it helps me to stay centered and grounded as I connect with animals. But I know that so many of you want to make connections with your animals. You, you asked me to make these connections, but I know how deeply you want to make this connection too. And I'm certain of this with Harley and Nova's mama. And Harley and Nova kind of became one. Harley, Nova, um, not two separate dogs. Um, but you have the gift trust it trust it you know you and this came through again and again you know you know you know and then the question what is it you want to hear that's the question that came from harley and nova what is it you want to hear you know all the answers you always have you always have known about your own connection to animals uh, it's time to trust and then, then some real personal things came through. You were the best mama. Mama, again, is the word that came through. You were the best mama. We know we were loved. This is Harley and Nova speaking. We know we were loved and we know we still are loved. We picked you uh, a, one day in the life of a dog. So one day in our life, this is them coming through. One day in our life was like a week for us. So one day was the equivalent of a week and we lived our very best life. Um, oh, I can't understand my writing. Oh, feel us, feel us now. We are right here with you now. You want to know if we're happy. You want to know if we're safe. Of course we are. We are happy. We are safe. Um, why are you afraid that we aren't safe? Don't be afraid. There is nothing to fear. Life goes on after the physical and it is magic. 
Harley and Nova want you to know that life is magic on the other side and that they they're with you all the time. And oh, I have to say this right now. They just said, yes, 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 yes to the fosters. <laughs> so do it. Um, do not fear. You fear that you can never love as much as you did again, or you fear, you fear that you will love as much as you have before. And the loss is so, and this is going to come through from the animal collective uh, about the loss, because this is for everyone um, who fears that, that pain, fears the pain, fears the loss, fears the grief. Um, let go of the fear because there is no loss. Um, please love again. Harley and Nova are saying this for their mama. Please love again. Um, and they want you to know that they were together before. Even before they were together with you, they were always together. Um, they travel together as a pair throughout all time and space. I get that sense clearly too. Um, that Harley Nova were together before, they're together, they were together in life and they'll be together again. And then, you know, sometimes unusual things come come through to me and flip-flops I wrote down just popped into my mind as I was so um for for Harley Nova's mama, don't know what that means, but I know that that you are looking for a message of inspiration and hope. <laughs> but they want you to know something about flip-flops. Don't don't know what that is. Um, and the fosters that comes through loud and clear too. So this fear, this is coming through, not just from Harley and Nova, although they are all now part of the animal collective. And that's what I call it. Every animal that I have ever had the honor to work with becomes part of this spiritual collection of animals that come through from the other side of life. And there's a reason because they are trying to help us. They are trying to help all humans. Um, all people, not just work through the, the grief and sadness of losing them. And, and more and more, I'm getting a word from away from the word pet. Pet is a very common word, um, but they're animal companions, they're family, right? Anybody who's watching this channel, your animal companions weren't a pet. They were, they were members of your family. They were soulmates. They're you. And this, this fear of loss, this is what came through from the animal collective, first of all. The depth of your grief, I'm going to try to say this without my voice cracking, the depth of your grief and the depth of your pain is merely an indication of the depth of your love. It reflects how deeply you love your animal companion and, and how connected you are to them. And they want you to know that you are still connected to them so deeply and don't deny yourself more love. You have the capacity for so much love. Don't deny yourself. And I think that means, I know it means for those of you who I've been questioning whether or not you could ever bring another animal into your home, don't deny yourself that love. Uh, there is, I felt it. You guys know, right? I have, I, I was, a, and still am. I'm a senior, I'm a dog mom to senior dogs, to uh, special needs dogs. And I know when I bring these animals, ask them, when I ask them to come join my life, I am fully aware that they will cross. And, and I am okay with that because I trust that I now have this most amazing connection. And it's what I want to share. I, I try to share this with everyone that for you to have this same kind of connection. Okay. Um, so don't deny yourself love. That means open your home to another animal. If you've got the capacity and the ability, do it. And here's the other thing that happens all the time, all the time. People tell me how, tell me about bringing a new animal into their home. Sometimes not the same species. Sometimes it's a cat when they used to have a dog or a dog when they used to have a cat, even birds, um, that they often feel a connection to their animal who has crossed to the other side um, through that, through the new animal who comes to their home. And that's what the magic is from the other side. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we have to say from the animal collective. Like so many of you, Harley Nova's mama wants to be able to connect. And I, I know I said that already, but it's true. And you want to connect with your animal companion. And I share that they try to get through to us in so many ways. They use our senses. We've got these physical senses. We are often not paying attention. So be you can ask in the morning. I, I've done this before sleep. 
is, is generally when I ask. I will ask Jack to come through for me. I will ask Jack to show me a sign. And then when I wake up the next day, I look for it. I keep my eyes open for the ways that they try to get in touch with me using my senses. Something I'll see, smell, or hear uh, reminds me of them. Something will jump right out that reminds me of them. Um, but if you would like a way, so I'm going to try to offer this little technique, a way to connect with your animal companion on the other side of life. Your heart is the center of your soul, just as with our animals. We call it a heart-to-heart -heart connection for a reason. Your heart is where your soul resides, and the heart of your animal is where their soul resides. We don't need a physical body in order to make that heart-to-heart -heart connection, but we have a heart right here that we can use right now. So I'm going to show you this little technique. Follow along with me. Uh, and if you have to come back to this, that's fine too. So this is a way to connect with your animal companion by releasing grief, by helping that grief just kind of float away, letting your heart be open to make the connection. So I want you to take your two fingers, two or three, doesn't matter, um, and touch your heart. The physical sensation of touch creates this connection with your heart. It lets, it like wakens everything up and, and kind of lets everything else quiet down. So you touch your heart and I want you to feel it beat. Just take a minute or two right now, a moment or two. Take a nice deep breath. Just feel your heartbeat. I'm moving my fingers over a little bit. There we go. Feel your heartbeat. It feels really good to connect to your own heart. A nice deep breath, connect to your heart. And I want you to drop down into that space. We spend so much time up here. I want you to drop into your heart. What does that mean? It simply means to feel that love. Your heart is a brilliant conductor of love. And I want you to feel that love. Imagine that your animal companion is sitting in your lap or, or cuddled up under your neck. Or, or just in the same space with you, but feel it with your heart. That's what dropping into your heart space is. You drop into your heart space, feel all the feels, even if some of it brings you tears, feel the feels. Grief is just another form of love. Feel the feels. And now take those fingers and I want you to physically pull them away from your heart space. This is opening your heart space. Your heart actually can extend for feet beyond your body. Let that space open wide. Just let it be wide open, no matter, even if it makes the tears flow, open that space. And I want you to imagine that what you've done with your hands is create a little bridge. It just creates this beautiful bridge of love that extends from your heart. And I want you to imagine in your mind that at the other side of the bridge is your animal companion and their heart is already wide open. Their heart is wide open and they are going to connect with you on this bridge. Heart to heart, I want you to visualize that you can both come together in the center of the bridge. They'll walk across their part of the bridge. You virtually walk across your part of the bridge. Meet in the middle and let your hearts join. Just let your hearts be together. This is how you connect. This is how you be with them. Accept them for who they are, where they are at this moment in time and be with them. Just be with them. Feel their love. If there is one thing that animals can share with us, it is the feeling of love no matter where they are in this whole wide universe, the feeling of love. Now you can stay here for as long as you choose and you don't even need to have your eyes closed if you don't want to. I love to visualize. I can just picture all of the beautiful animals who have ever shared my life sitting here with me right now. And when they fill my heart with love, I know that I'm connected. Nice deep breath. You can stay in this space for as long as you choose. Now, if you want to take it one step further, you don't have to do another thing. This is connecting with your animal at the Rainbow Bridge.
But if you wanted to, you could try to write something down. Pick up your pen, pick up your paper, and here's what I want you to think about your pen and paper, that they are an extension of you, that they are a conduit for information. So imagine this is a magic pen, and when you bring your paper and pen together, you can write down anything that comes to your mind from your animal companion, anything at all. Write it down, just write it down, let it flow. Go back and read it later if you want to, but trust that you're receiving some information and that your pen is a beautiful, magical tool for writing down the information you're getting from your animal. It's how I think whenever I connect, it's how I got the information today from Nova and Harley and from the Animal Collective. All right, my friends, that's our message for today. Until our next reading, may animals light your way. Take care.